All right. So, hello, and uh, this is going to be a little video about mindset and thinking. And uh, I want you to uh, listen to the gentleman here in the driver's seat uh, talking with Peter Santanello. If you're not familiar with him, check him out. He has does really great videos and work and stuff. So yeah, check out Peter Santanello. <laughs> He's awesome. But listen to this guy in the driver's seat here. He is a uh, his grandparents were part of Operation Paperclip. Uh, some of the Nazi scientists uh, that were working on <clears throat> working on rockets uh, during World War II and so uh, yeah his grandparents were part of that operation that were the scientists that were brought to the United States and listen to the mindset here um, and then he describes himself he's a uh, Iraqi war veteran and so I, I want you to listen and then I want to comment on it so they were building you know a delivery platform for a weapon for a warhead they didn't you don't think they knew what the war was for like like concentration camps in Poland they didn't have an understanding of you think or they no? did not no they did not but they did have they did have some labor uh, associated with the building of the missiles that were that were prisoners so they sort of knew what was going on yes so wild it is how humans operate right that is true Okay, so you heard him say they didn't really know what was going on, but they knew there was some stuff going on. <laughs> but, you know, they had to go along to get along. And uh, we wonder, how, how, could, how could all this be happening? How, how could the people in World War II and Germany and Poland, you know, how could they let that happen? Well, you know, we're about to hear it. But, um, I mean, it's not a direct comparison, but it's like Iraq. If you're in the army, you're told to go. Right, I went. You went? Absolutely. How was that? It was not fun. It was did, hard. People, did, people did you, died. They got hurt. Did you agree with it, the war, or no? Uh, well, at some point in time, we were involved, you know, in, in, in obvious hostilities. And we were there as a, as a support unit with the National Guard. So at that point, we didn't even think about ideology anymore. It was all about doing your job and staying alive. Okay. You don't worry about ideology when you're there. Because America is not there with you. They are in spirit, maybe. You know, they are, but, uh, you know, the supplies and flow, but you're physically located at, at another country engaged in hostilities with them. And it's just day by day, right? And it's day by day. Yeah, it's game day. on. It's game on. Okay, now looking back on that conflict, do you agree with us going there or not? I really don't know, you know, what the real premise was to invade into Iraq. I thought it should have been centric to Afghanistan yeah. um, because of the bin Laden, you know, uh, obvious, you know, control, and, and he was the aggressor. They saw this on, they were tied together. Right. So I'm in no position to actually have information to question any decision made above me at my level as just an aviator. Um, right. So I went, you know, I went and did my job the best way I knew how. Yeah. Okay, so that right there, I get it, but even looking back on it, he he doesn't feel good about it, but he he doesn't have, <laughs> he won't question anything about it above, he won't question the morality of it, even to this day. I'm sure he probably does, but this is what he has to tell himself in order to, you know, move on. And Pete does a good job here of, you know, he he tries to elicit, I think he's trying to get him to go, yeah, you know, at what point do we actually say, uh, you know, I, I'm, as a human being, am not going to do this. Much like what we've seen with the pandemic and everything else, where everybody just kind of goes along. Well, you know, I, I can't question it because 
somebody higher up is telling me, you know, I know what am I to question the morals? So anyway, con let's continue on with this. Yep. You have to follow the, uh, the principles that, that were taught to us yep. in our academies, you know, the rules of war and how you handle uh, people, personnel, your own, uh, uh, enemy combatants, prisoners, wounded individuals. You know, we have all these conventions. The Geneva Convention mm -hmm. is the biggest one. And uh, the rules of land and air warfare that we're trained in that we have to prosecute. We have to prosecute those actions with our soldiers. Yep. So, um, you know, otherwise well, we are subject to prosecution and internment at the federal penitentiary, the military correctional barracks at Fort Leavenworth. So <laughs> he's basically saying that he is a rob he, he's going to be a robot or he's going to be punished and he's like just goes yep yeah, that's the way it is you know and i really wish more people would look within themselves and go my god am i really just going to do this as a human being this is this is the mindset that I believe is so destructive and so anti-human it really is and uh, hey <laughs> you are a human being you are created in God's image I am, and therefore I am a creative human being with godly aspects. I realize that. I'm not some robot that's going to just go be in some other land getting involved, kill or be killed, because somebody else told me to, and I'm not going to worry about the morality of it you know because I have to if I don't hell I'm gonna be put in Fort Leavenworth <laughs> Why? is this really what we want as a society so I guess that's a question you have to answer for yourself anyway look up look within be thankful for what you have all right God bless